Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, we're talking about the most unbreakable records in MLB history. We have four of them, and I want you to let me know in the comment section below which one of these will never, ever be broken. All of them might never be broken, but which one do you think is the least breakable what's going to be toughest for players to break let's go over them i'm going to give you my opinion on each one so here they are so the first one we have is cal ripkin's straight games played streak 2632 then we have nolan ryan his career strikeouts 5714 then we've got Ricky Henderson and his career stolen bases, 1,406. And then we have Hank Aaron with total bases, 6,856. These numbers are mind boggling. I think maybe none of them will be broken. But if I had to pick one, let's go through each one first and then I'll let you know what I think is the least Breakable. So let's start off with Cal Ripken. And I put a couple of notes down here uh, because I've had to think about all of these for a while. I had to do a little bit of research. So the first thing is when I first see this list all the time, when someone says to me, you know, what, what baseball record can't be broken? Cal Ripken's record always has always popped into my head as just an unthinkable, unimaginable. I, I can't even begin to think about playing this many games in a row. I've told you guys many times about how difficult it is to play baseball every single day. If you look at the back of my baseball card, you're gonna see that I didn't play in a whole lot of games. I missed almost half the games in my career for various injuries. I've had a broken hand, I've had three wrist surgeries, I've had a knee issue, I've had all these things, I pulled a hamstring. It is so tough to get through one season of playing every day. And no, but no one really does it anymore. But I could never get through one season of playing every day. Cal Ripken, uh, he got through about 16 seasons of playing every single day. So if you want to break this record, you've got to play every single game for 16 seasons, if I did my math right. And I don't, I just... I don't know how he did it. He must have played games. He had to have played games in so much pain with things that had to have been broken or close to broken. He must have had muscle pulls that somehow he just got it through. I don't know how you do it unless you're just the luckiest man in the world. But it's incredible that he was able to do it. Also, the game is played a little bit different now. The money in the game, the, the amount of money that players are getting paid in today's game is so much more than back when Cal was playing. And so teams are usually a little bit more careful now with players. If you've got a player, first, if you've got a player that's gonna play for 16 years, then you better bet he's gotta be one of the better players in the game. No one just hangs around in the big leagues for 16 years, right? That's hard enough to play that long. So you've gotta be incredibly talented. If you're incredibly talented, you're getting paid a ton of money. If you're getting paid a ton of money, the manager or the team usually isn't just going to keep throwing you out there, especially if you have some type of injury, which you've got to have over 16 years. They're going to say, listen, you've got to sit down and rest. And so I just think this one's going to be really, really hard to break. Okay, we'll start with that and then we'll, we're will we going to pick it. That's not my pick yet. We're going to pick it in a little bit. Okay, let's go over to, to uh, Nolan Ryan's strikeout record because this is incredible. If you want to break this one, you're going to have to basically strike out more than 300 guys a year for 19 years. 19 years. And you're actually going to need a little bit more than 300 Ks a year because that still wouldn't break it. If you did 300 Ks for 19 years, if my calculator is working right, you're still not breaking this record. So that is, this is an incredible record. And I, I don't really see this one being broken either. Now, strikeouts are up, right? So, so strikeouts, there's more strikeouts in the game today than there ever have been before. More pitchers are throwing super hard with nasty stuff. Um, you know, baseball's trying to figure out ways to put the ball in play more. They want to make the, the game more exciting. They don't want so many strikeouts and so many walks and, and home runs are up also. Um, but the pitchers are just so damn good and it's, it is hard to put the ball in play. 
But the thing is, pitchers are also going shorter and shorter into games than ever before. Bullpens are better than ever. And so pitchers today are just kind of like, all right, go out there, get us, get us like five innings, maybe six if you're lucky, and then we'll get the bullpen going. Back in the day, back when Nolan was playing, it was like, I'm starting, I'm going nine, don't come out and talk to me, don't try to get me. Um, that doesn't happen as much anymore today. And even if a pitcher does say, I'm going nine, don't come out and get me, teams are gonna, teams will say, well, we're paying you $35 million a year. Like we've got to protect our investment. We're not going to just throw you out there and just grind you away. We've got to be careful with you. Let us use the bullpen. It's a long season. We're, you know, and so there's a lot of reasons again, why I just don't, I don't see a pitcher doing this. Now, one day, you know, there could be a day where pitchers are like consistently throwing 105 miles an hour. Um, and so strikeouts could continue to go up because pitchers just seem to continue to make advances every single year. It's crazy. At some point, it has to stop. But again, I don't know if pitchers are going to be allowed to throw deep enough into games to be able to rack up that many Ks for that many years. So um, this is a tough one to get. It's, it's, it's really hard as a pitcher to get 3,000 Ks in a career. Like if you get 3,000 Ks in a career, it's like, holy God, this guy's unbelievable. Uh, yet Nolan almost doubled it. All right, so now let's go over to Ricky Henderson's record. Every time, so I, I've, I now started with Cal Ripken thinking that was gonna be the toughest. Then I went to Nolan's and I'm like, no, 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 no. This one I think might be the toughest. Well, now we're going over to Ricky Henderson. This stolen base record is incredible. So according to my math skills, you'd have to steal more than 70 bases for 20 years just to be able to break him. How do you play bait? Like very rarely can guys even play a 20 year career. If you play a 20 year career, you know, you're one of the greatest players of all time, probably. Then you've got to figure out a way to steal 70 bases, not just once, which no one does anymore. You got to do it for 20 years. I don't know about this one, guys. This one might, I, I don't know how this one will be broken. First off, stolen bases like completely come out of the game. Like nobody's stealing bases anymore. Guys are hitting homers, they're walking, and they're striking out. The game has gone to power. The game has gone away from speed. There's still some guys that can steal bases, but not 70 bases for 20 years. I just don't know how, how it could be done. Check this out. I went back and looked at the top, the stolen base leaders over the last like five, six years. Okay, these are the guys, the number of steals that they've had leading the league in steals. Okay, so this past year we had 24, but that's a shortened season. So let's not count that. Before that, you had the league leader with 46 stolen bases. The year before that was 45. The year before that was 60. That was D. Gordon. That's a lot. 60 is a lot. The year before that was 62 by Villar. Now, that's a real lot, right? Still not 70, but it's pretty close. Then the year before that was 58 by D. Gordon again. Then the year before that was 62 by D. Gordon again. And then the year before that was 52 by Jacoby Ellsbury. So Gordon, D. Gordon is the only guy in this list more than once, but he's not at 70. He's at, what's he at, 60? Yeah, he's at 60, 58, 64. He, need, he would need to get above 70. And then he'd have to do it until he's about 50 years old. So um, it ain't happening. And I just can't see anyone else for, for all the reasons we listed. I just, I think it's impossible. Now, if you guys saw my video a couple days ago, minor league baseball is changing some rules to try to incentivize the stolen base. Could those changes one day be moved up to the big leagues? Maybe, but even with those changes, I don't, I don't know if anyone can steal 70 bases. Like stealing 70 bases in one season would be like, oh my God, like, wow, that is incredible. 70 stolen bases. Then you gotta do it 19 more times. <laughs> uh, I just don't know. I don't think that one can be broken. Let's go to the last one, Hank Aaron. So Barry Bonds, who I consider to be one of the greatest hitters of all time. And when he was, you know, when he looked like the Incredible Hulk and he was juicing it up, um, not even he could break this record. And he hit balls harder and further than anyone I've ever seen in my life. Like it was a video game. When Barry, go back and look at Barry's stats during those few years. It was an absolute video game, right? So I guess maybe if he did that his entire career, maybe he would have had a chance, but not even Barry Bonds could do it. So I don't know who the hell is gonna do it. Albert Pujols is, so he's a little under a thousand away, but he's 40 years old, he's gonna be done playing. So he's, he's not gonna do it. Um, 
And I don't, I just don't know if I can see anyone doing this. You've got to play. This is another one of those records where you've got to play forever. And you've just got to be, you've got to mash baseballs for like 20 something years. It's incredible. Um, this one's tough. And, and steroids are, well, they're out of the game. There's still some guys that are trying to do it. Now, maybe down the line, I don't know, maybe something comes into the game that really enhances uh, strength and uh, the longevity of players. And But then again, then you're going to have pitchers throwing 107 miles an hour, so it, maybe it evens it off anyway. I just, I just, I don't know if someone can break this one. Now, I think the other ones might be a little bit more unbreakable than this one, um, but this one's an incredible record as well. So, okay. Let's... Uh, Let's look now. Hopefully you guys have already put down below what you guys think. If I had to pick the least breakable out of all these, like I said, I was first thinking Cal Ripken because I'm just amazed by that record. Um, but I don't know, maybe, maybe like modern medicine creates like these superhuman robots in a few years that you know somehow they don't get tired and they don't feel pain and they can just go out there and play. I still, don't, I still think the robot would have a hard time breaking this one. Um, then I moved over to Nolan and I said, who can strike out that many guys? But then I saw Ricky's and I'm like 70 stolen bases for 20 years. I don't think anyone can break that one. I'm going to go with Ricky. Now, really we could go with all these cause I don't know if any of them are going to be broken, but that Ricky Henderson one is crazy. That's absurd. Unless the rules are majorly altered in some ways, I'm going to go with Ricky. I kind of want to go back to Nolan now that I'm saying it. This is tough. I'm just going to stick with Ricky because I can't decide. They're all unbreakable. I don't know why. Why did I decide to do this? This is too difficult. What do you guys think in the comments section below? Give me your reasons. What do you think is, is the most unbreakable record of these four? These are crazy. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.